Hey kids, I'm a doll. I can't believe your name is... <laughs> How many games have I seen this name is Ray? Welcome back to Trails into Reverie. Should be video number 30 so far. Man, um, so much explanation before I start. Um, thank you in the comments. Yeah, thank you in the comments. Um, man, about these two right here, Swin and Nadia. More like number three and number nine. Or just call them three and nine. Or three swords, nine swords. Now, um, yes. Uh, I did read, well, just only for a bit, like, uh, there's, uh, how do I explain this? Ten, yeah, ten books, ten chapters, which I, unfortunately, <laughs> I did not read it, um, and collect them all, and, which I didn't know in Trials of Cold Steel 4, so thank you about that. So instead, well, this will be a blue thumbnail, just to let the viewers know I did look it up, uh, you know, things online or, you know, on YouTube. But don't worry, it's not really, at least it's not really spoilers for the game. But I just wanted to know about these two, you know, about their past. And it's really sad. So basically, you know, oh man, it's sad. Uh, I, I looked it up on YouTube because it's nice someone upload a, a playlist. I'll put it on the screen, the name of the YouTuber who, that I read it from and so far, I read it from chapter 1 through 4, and I will read some more after this video, because it's getting interesting. So, these two are assassins from an organization, and uh, man, it's this one, Swin. The reason why it's called S, because of the, it starts with the letter S, like sword, or, you know, three of swords, or a starting name s win but man it, it's really sad about their past and when they were young and they entered this uh this place called the factory and that's where they train be to become assassins and those who survive they will become entry level man and she is something but but not yet because uh but this one i feel so bad for swin um because that one time, when I got to chapter 4, he had to go fight against uh, his buddy named Ace. Yeah, Ace of Swords. So basically, their number names is from a, like a tarot card. Man. And and these two, they well, he, they try to escape from this organization. And the rules are ridiculous. Like, you had to kill your partner to, you know, and for freedom and but. Oh my god, what kind of organization is this? Oh my god. Um, so thank you again in the comments. I know more about this and I'll read, I'll continue reading some more uh, in the chapter uh, 5 through 10. Man. So anyways, uh, let's keep going you guys because I'm pretty sad when, when I was reading on my phone when, on the video. So... This is the second time I read the books. I thought it was like... I didn't read much of the books in Trials of Cold Steel 4 and 3 and so forth. But the only books I read that was really important that my friend told me was... Trials of Cold Steel 2, for example. The Black Record books before I start um, Trials of Cold Steel 3. That's, those are the only books I read so far. That it's really important for the plot. You know, like Grawl Sweaters and stuff. Oh, cutscene. Halt. Yeah. And, uh, I should have probably, but the problem is you have to collect, you have to find and collect all the other books, the three and nine story. Oh my God. And I didn't read them all. Unfortunately, I did read some like certain news stuff, like, you know, the Crossbell news or the, uh, Erebonia, uh, you know what I mean? But, oh, this is something. So, but I didn't know, like it affects like, you know, man, you got to read it. So, you know, these characters and especially thank you in the comments uh there's another one just like tovel and what's the other one i i forgot <laughs> Let, let's just keep going because there's so much going on so so what is it something to matter 
I think I hear something. Huh. Oh, the original, yeah. OST, um, yeah, I remember this place in Trails of Cold Steel 2. I don't know why I called this original soundtrack district, but no, it's not. Oh, guards. Oh, the EDF or something, I don't know. Finnish Chancellor. Huh. Oh, wow. I keep thinking of those two. The one in um, where Gaius lives, you know, when I played Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2. Hmm. Huh. Guys, we're looking. Without a doubt. How skilled are you two? Now, that girl right there in pink, uh, Nadia, man, well, her name is supposed to be N for short. Yeah, N, not for Nadia, but Nine of Swords, holy cow, she has really good ears, and she can analyze the enemy so good, like, because I read chapter one of the books to take out this, they were on a mission to take out a, a man, they were assassins. They, this guy, Swin, they killed so many people. He murdered them. But he killed like some kind of a rich um, merchant that he's going to Calvert. From Remiferia to Calvert in a cruise ship. Oh, pretty bad. Man, that sucks. And, and I need to keep reading throughout the, the chapters. The reason why... They didn't. They don't want to kill any more people no more. So, and another reason why I feel so bad for Swin, because every time when he complete his mission, he had a bad dream that there's like a lot of, man, the dead, like the souls, everything, like trying to catch him, and he always have that same nightmare, over and over again. Like the people, the, all the people that he killed, you know. So, just don't want to do any work, man. <laughs> You're so lazy, Nadia. All right, with me, Swin. <laughs> babysitter. One babysitter coming right up. Yeah, to watch you, Lapis. You're calling me a baby? <laughs> How dare you? Isn't that adorable? Uh-oh, what is this? Oh! Oh, yes, I was going to say, yeah, they use that camouflage, uh, the, the Hercules group. I remember that in Trails of Cold Steel 3. Yeah, the Ramda. They were talking about that. Yeah, that's a thing from Calvert. Yeah, Calvardian agents who were on our, on our tail using them in the past. Yeah, that was that happened in Heimdall in Trails of Cold Steel 3. There was only one survivor. If I remember that we were trying to find them all. The rest of the group, they got affected by the, uh, the... Yeah, it really sucks. The curse. Yep, Hercules hire us. Huh. Yeah, that's what it's called. Hercules. Not the, you know, the Greek mythology. You know what I mean, but whatever. Split in half to begin our investigation. Okay. Begin... So this is what they were talking about in the Vermilion, huh? That they're trying to find a target or something. Should we get going then? Ah, oh, this music, yep. This is the same music in Trails of Cold Steel 3. How about we, we just walk around? Or actually, also Trails of Cold Steel 1, never mind. When you're going around in Heimdall. I'm a walking expert. I walk the best of them. Yep, adorable. Man. I mean, I do like Kia. But let me know in the comments. Who do you think is adorable? Lapis or Kia or, you know, the other... Oh, my God. There's so many. Like Toa. Um, man, Angelica would love them all, of course. But... Oh, put these on. Lapis camouflage. Huh. We use this to hide our joints. Oh, yeah. I, I, I see. Yeah. Because she is like a doll. Okay, gotcha. What? Well, you gotta. 
because uh, there's soldiers out there. They're looking for a doll, so. You're still not wearing the camouflage. Well, oh yeah, I have to go over here, right? Let's see. Ah, I see. Yep, just like human being. I see. You know what? Why not? I'll just wear it, just for the heck of it. There you go. There, like a human being. Okay, anyways. Ah, uh, yes. Man, this just takes me time. Uh, wait, what? Neon Valley? Let's go look around. Huh. Hey, kids. I'm a doll. I can't believe your name is... <laughs> How many games have I seen this name is Ray? I mean, I'm not kidding. I'm seeing another game his name is Ray. All right, anyways. Because there's one that I just saw in Disgaea 7, but... And the others. Race. So I'm going to try my best to remember, man, in, in this place. I mean, it's been a long time since way back in Trials of Cold Steel 2. And always full of energy, yep. So I'll try to get through this as quickly as I can. Um Where are we at now, Nadia? Hmm, it's where grown-ups go and try to make themselves happy by drinking stuff that makes them stupid. <laughs> Surely there are more elegant solutions to finding happiness than that. Drunk, stupid. What the heck? Come on, Nadia. All right. Oh, yeah, the developers, they really love cats. That's why we got Celine. When do I get to see Celine? No, no. This could be friends. Oh, yes, they are. Friends, man. Name is... Yeah, no, no. Oh, only friend. But I think... Oh, Sunday school. Feels weird. Kind of weird to have so many now. Oh. So I'm just talking around just to see what's been happening here. I mean, it should be fine, right? In Heimdall? Because I remember, this is like, you know, way back. I think it was Trails of Cold Steel 1, actually. When they were sent to Heimdall, and... I don't remember, it's like... I forgot. Like, Group A and Group B. Because Heimdall is such a big place, so we got this side, you know. Man, it's been a long time, I apologize. Before we go there, I really want to go see Neon Valley. Because who owns this one? Is it, um... I wish I want to. See, I want to see Cerberus. Wait, I saw Carl. Hmm. Man, this music's good. Yeah, who's Carl? Carl. All right, sorry. <laughs> that, that just reminds me of that one video. My bad. I just watched some kind of like. I forgot the animal. Is it no llamas or something? I forgot. Just Carl, the Valley. So there's one here, one in Crossbell, and there's one in oh, shoot leaves, right? So who owns this? I wish it was Sir. Yes, they're here. They're here, Cerberus. So what happened to the Neon Valley and leaves? Oh well. Oh, you've grown just a bit. Yes! I wanted to see these two so badly. Oh my god, they are very important. Um, What's her name? Yes, Jingle! <laughs> Damn it, I'm trying to remember her name. Customer, if you want to buy something, take it up. Let's... Yeah, Cerberus is a trained dog. Man, I, because I finished Trails of... Trails from Zero and Trails to Azure. I was expecting Trails of, to Azure, right? But I wanted to see, like, when Jingo gets her dog, like Cerberus, when they first, you know, and then I guess off screen, I guess, but I don't know. Oh, I bet she's talking to her mom. Um, well, I forgot her name. Damn it. <laughs> Middle of something. Yep. Right there, the dog, the puppy. Well, it's getting grown now. Gotta be kidding me. Yes, they can. I've seen it, man. In Trails of Cold Steel 4 and 3. It's a good dog. I like Ziet. 
Ziet is my number one. Well, I'm an idiot. Well, Ziet is a freaking wolf, so never mind. Cerberus, you're number one dog, so I, I apologize. <laughs> Alright, what am I talking about? Let's just keep going. Well, Ziet is number one wolf. <laughs> oh my god, he can understand us. But I can't understand him. If we have Tio or Kia, right? They can understand dog language, right? I call some dog gone good training. Wow. What? what? His name isn't very cute. Well, well, I guess true, but he's still a very good boy when that counts. Jeez, I wonder what the name, how they got it from Cerberus. Jeez, what's up with the myth, Greek mythology names or whatever? You know, Hercules, Cerberus. What's next? Hades? Uh, no. Let's see what else? Anything? Okay, never mind. So yeah, uh, that's oh. Uh, I got confused. Okay, I don't know why I did that, but never mind. I got confused. So, anyways, um, I wish there's somewhere we can buy fishing bait. Like, hopefully, there's a shop that you can buy more fishing bait. Yeah, I think I did buy fishing bait in Trails of Cold Steel Three. You know, in leaves, but. Huh. So I'm just browsing real quick. Yeah, I think it's pretty much the same. I mean, this is ridiculous. 999. Yeah, this stuff. Jeez. And plus it's three routes that they have their own. It doesn't stack the items. So between all routes. So let's see. What's the bargain for today? Oh, same thing. I don't know if these guys can cook. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess that's it. Let's chat. Ah, Can I talk to Jingo? Yes, I can. Oh, man. Bummer. Well, I guess we'll continue through the story. And How's it going, Mishy? Yeah. I forgot Jingo is a big fan of uh, Mishy and Michelin. Man. All these weapons. All right. So, let's see. Well, let's just get, continue. So sorry about that, you guys. All that commentary, but I mean, this is good old times with memory. I know that because that's why my uh, thing is Bray Salt and memory. But hmm, that's strange. Why do humans divide themselves up? They're all human. Society. Wouldn't be able to function in any other way. <laughs> Silly. I'm an exception. What? Silly, more like lazy to me, Nadia. Well, sometimes, but. I like this place, though. Yeah, it's big, but it's cool. It feels kind of thrown together. It's just better when you don't try too hard. This area looks like it was built with the. That same mindset. So simple is good. That simple is the best. Jeez. Back alley is I can't think of a better for a guerrilla warfare for an cheese or an ambush. Gosh. We're playing tag. Uh oh, what did she notice? Yeah, because again, Nadia is a good, like, analyze thing. Man, now I see why they had to pair up, like, by twos to get missions done. Man, not again. <gasps> is that Carl Regnitz? Time to leave. You're excellent. Yeah, that's Carl Regnitz. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Um, they they live here. That's their hometown in in Heimdall. Yeah. Uh, Machias's father, right there. Yeah. Carl, I totally forgot about it. His name is Carl Regnitz, man. Carl! Car's ready for you, sir. Uh-oh. Man. Come back home again for quite some time. Things are gonna get busy. Yep, man. 
And Machias did talk about his past way back in Trails of Cold Steel 1, I believe, or 2. I forgot. Kinda. He's really famous. Oh, yes, he is. Politician who became governor of the city despite being born a commoner. He straight up represents the entire Arabonian government. What the hell is what they're doing? So, just who's he going to meet? I'll be real high. Huh. I think we've seen enough of the <laughs> OST district. My bad. I need to stop thinking of original soundtrack. To see more? Yes. My good old memories, man. Oh, let's see. Just follow me. So Nadia and Lapis can now... Oh, yeah. Vesta Street. Okay. So, yeah. We have to progress through the story. Oh, man. Machias' house. Uh, wait a minute wait a minute i'm seeing a familiar face over here oh my god they're here oh wow i remember you yeah patiri oh my god it's machias and this is she was looking for him in trails of cold steel too but he made a stupid well i think it's her fault i think i don't remember because the they using a map right, hold on let me explain this real quickly i mean this is good old times they used the map to retreat, and uh, it was upside down. Um, I think the boy went to, yeah, Lagram. And they told him to meet uh, Patiri all the way up. It's the opposite. Yeah, Ymir. So he went the wrong way. Patiri ended up right there, and uh, yeah, the boy right here, Lagram. Because they were trying to retreat. I think it was from Berehard. I don't remember. What the heck? So yeah, I remember that, that problem. Yeah, Cargo. And again, something happened again, and Pateri had to go work in Crossbell, trying to get some money, you know, because I think Cargo had an accident and ended up in the hospital. Oh, <laughs> and yeah, you don't want to piss her off, man. You mean I can't go to Crossbell? So I stood in line, filled with paperwork to update my work, besides everything, man. Now you're telling me that the blockhead, oh shit, Machias is, oh yeah, because of the, um... Man, that sucks because real fast. That sucks. They can't go back to Crossbell. And yep, sorry, man, because Machias is stuck there. <laughs> oh my gosh, but the dweeb's got guts. It's obvious he's okay. Yeah, he should be. You you better keep an eye on him. Hopefully, he doesn't get lost again. Cargo. Start for hiring someone like me, man. I can't worry about Machias on the side once I get there. Man, she missed Machias. <laughs> so we're going to have to split up. Oh, what? No, don't split up. You're gonna be all right on your own. Heck no. See what you're. And I was missing during the war. Yes, exactly. That's in Trails of Cold Steel too. I'll be fine. There's stuff I want to try to do on my own, so get going. Well, to be honest, he's grown, but he's still kind of a kid. But, oh well, trying to act like a big man. Man, I'm so glad I run into these two. I was looking for these two, or Pateri and Crossbell, so now I know that they're in uh, Heimdall. Who are you guys? I've never seen... These two are very important NPCs, man. Lost something, need... Uh, we're not lost. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> they talk like thugs. But they don't seem like bad people. How strange. Yeah, that's the way they are, especially you. It's so funny that when she talks to Machias, man. The hell are you doing in... Um, this ain't safe. You get out once you're going. Good for you. What? Enough crap in her mind with this crossbow all messed up again. Yes. I mean, it's best to stay here in Heimdall, man. I wouldn't go there if I were you, Crossbell, at the moment until, uh, until I'll fix it with this, which I'm not going to do right now. I want to finish Sea's route. Man, 
Okay, anyways, <laughs> I could, you know, that's cool. I could go check it out, but no, I want to see finish through everything, and then we'll go back to Crossbell. Yeah, Lloyd's route to see what's happened, but that's the plan. I mean, this is so nice, you can pick whatever you want in order, so. All right, let's see, uh, Vesta Street. Yeah, we just, wait, is it this way? I forgot. Is it this? Or you could just, yeah, just do this. Fast travel. The power of fast traveling. Oh, yeah. Jeez. They're camouflage. <gasps> oh! Hey, aren't they? That's Reen and the others. I just saw... Elliot. Oh, okay, let's move on. Crow? Uh, if 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 that is crow, you better. Oh Hello, my God! Thor's class seven is here after all. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you can um, sense it. Is something the matter? Oh, Elise. Yep, Rain's sister. No, it's nothing. It's crow. Crow's watching your back. No, I I need to find out. I can't wait to find out who's in that mask. Now, if we if he can't contact, or if I haven't seen Crow for a while, that's got to be Crow in that Sea Reborn. It's like something happened, and he decided to go back to Sea, you know, for some reason. Oh, that was an interesting cutscene. I'm the Vesta Street. See the sights. Supposed to gather information. Oh, this place. I remember now. In Trails of Cold Steel 4, there was an interesting cutscene where Jingo and, and her mom, um, they're on the rooftops. It's crazy. They have rocket launchers shooting at the freaking, like, oh my gosh, it was crazy when they're trying to defend this place against magic knights. Huh. Yeah, and hopefully we can find recipes. Food. Not a thing. Huh. They're just browsing. We're going shop. What? Shopping? Oh, yeah. No wonder why. Because, you know, C gave that paycheck, the first paycheck to them when they joined. So, I can't pass on shopping in the capital just because I need, I don't need anything. Huh. I read a guide on the, let's see if I'm from the back of the bookstore. So, all the top spots. Okay. Let's spend some mirror. But guess what? All that, well... I guess that's how much I got from C, 50,000. But guess what? I'm using that mirror for um, something else. As for the hottest thing on Vesta Street... Nothing holds a candle to Lafitte. Come on, you'll see what I mean once we poke our heads inside. Time to go. I hope so. <sighs> the name doesn't tell me much, but I give it 83 points. What? <laughs> Looking for cute names and both... Alright, anyways. Buy some snack bread. Hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna go around quickly. Uh, I mean, I might see some familiar faces, man. United Nations nonsense. What? Rufus! God damn it, Rufus! I was starting to... Man, what a stressful time to be alive. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Uh... Oh, wait. This is not it. I think it's the one up ahead. Yes, this one. This one is where uh, Toa. Man, where Toa lives. Oh my gosh. Well, unfortunately, Toa's stuck in Crossbell. This sucks. I have to buy coffee here. In the front. I like coffee. Alright. So again, I'll talk to as much NPCs as I can so I know what the heck's going on. Oh yeah, Bracer Guild. What, didn't they shut it down way back ago? But they should reopen it, right? Yeah, they are lifesavers. Take on this in any job, however big or small. Thank you. Alright. What else? Oh yeah, bakery. So to continue through story, how come they can't go through here? There's like nobody around here. Huh? It's supposed to be a cat or something. 
an engineer that or, or postman or whatever they reuse the skin so many times in the trials of cold steel games especially in the crossbell games and so forth so Ah, oh, delivery man. Man, you're not the best delivery. I've seen a, a guy been running all over the place in Crossbell, you know, in Harbor District. Man. Ah, oh, Herschel shop. Uh, yeah. I'm going in there right now. Just to meet them. Oh, man, this takes me back. Oh, yep. Martha. This is one now, confident. Huh. Oh. A real pro right there. Yep. Adorable customers. My niece is over in... Yeah, Toa. Yep. How can I not be stressed? Yeah, they got this. I mean, she'll be okay, Toa. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll buy something here. This is a good shop. Herschel's shop. Oh yeah, Fred. This guy. I, I believe, if I remember, he is one of the... Um, those NPCs that you go against in... Oh yeah, the... Uh, what do you call it? Vantage Masters. Is there Vantage Masters in this game? Or is there a different mini game or something? I, I want to play Vantage Masters some more, but we'll see. Until we get a tutorial, uh, until we get far, but... <laughs> this guy is always happy like that. Oh, sorry. Welcome to Herschel's. Oh, my. My niece has gone... Yep. And crossbell. Yeah, and that's why I can't wait. Once I finish C's route for Act 2... Then I'm gonna check out Crossbell, see how Toa's doing and the others. Means a lot. To keep focus, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, Brock. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, anything else? Man, yeah. There's nothing they can do about it, man. And they cannot like call them or anything. I bet it's like blocked, man, because of stupid. Oh, Moonless Morn. You know, I need to start reading these other books. I mean, you'll never know. I didn't know that the books 3 and 9 will be very important for later on into until, like, Charles into Reverie, so... But the, again, the problem is you gotta find all these books, so why not? I'll just buy one, just for the heck of it. Huh. Marksman of the Moonless Morn. I thought they're, like, fairy tale stuff, you know? You know what I mean? But never mind. Reason plus 6. Oh, 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 oh. Man. Uh, uh. <laughs> I always buy, you know, I'll buy one of this. I probably should have, uh. Man, you can have it. So I'll do some more shopping off screen just in case. Uh, I'll buy, uh, three more just in case. And, uh. I'm not gonna do the cooking yet because we don't have a. Yeah, recipes yet, but... Okay, so I need to save Mira because I'm going to look around just in case. Um, if I find a weapon shop or something like that. So... Oh, we can go up here. Look at Toa's stuff. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I mean, there's nothing much, right? I mean, you don't have to worry about treasure chests inside buildings. I mean, those are like in other games. If you play like Dragon Quest or something. Oh, there's another floor. I forgot. It's been a long time, man. This. Oh, this is where Toa's room. Because you know how. Yeah. You know, Toa is something. She becomes an instructor. Well, she's a president. You know, in Trails of Cold Steel 1. The. I don't know. Holy cow. Oh, this used to be Toa's grandfather. Probably. Because astro astronomy or something. Or I don't know. So, anyways, my bad. There's so much, man. So this is Ray on Trails into Reverie. So next time uh, we will continue looking around in Heimdall and invest the street a little bit. And we'll continue going forward and meet up with lots of familiar characters and NPCs. Uh, man, this is so good. Man, when you get this far in the game. 
So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. And goodbye, everyone.